name's Holly Ellis, and I'm the peer bridger for Region 1 in Clarksville, Mississippi. I serve four counties, Cahoma, Tunica, Tallahatchie, and Quitman County. I work with patients coming out of the hospital and crisis units to help them be accountable and keep their appointments so we can lessen the amount of inpatient. I'm also a recovering addict. I've had seven years clean, and I think the most important thing I'd like people to know about recovery is there is someone out there that will understand. It's okay to be scared, it's okay, but please be honest, don't isolate, you will find your people and you can have a wonderful life in recovery. My name is Clark Winkle, I'm with Region 1 Mental Health, I'm a recovery support specialist. Recovering addict as well, I work with the outpatient population of Region 1 and I also do anger management and someone asked me what the most important part of recovery is, I would say, knowing that, that you're worth it and you can make an impact in this world. And that you are, you know, you are worth it and you can, you can do anything that you want. My name is Rico Townsend. I work for Region 1 Mental Health. I'm male peer support at Fairland and also work for District 11 Drug Court as peer support as well. Um, I get to help people in recovery, early recovery, get the same resources and needs met that I got when I was in early recovery. Um, I have five years clean, which is amazing for me. Um, I, if there's anything that I could tell someone that's starting to be in treatment or early recovery, it would be that trauma can be triumph. You're not alone. You can change all of the bad things in your life into positives, and you can get back not only what you've lost, but you can gain something. Absolutely, waking up every day, not being dependent on a substance to function, waking up in a good mood, looking forward to my day, generally excited about life because I didn't have that even before I was doing drugs. I looked at life a chore, something I had to do, something to just get through it. And I never thought I would be here adulting and doing things. I know that's a small thing, but to me, that's really big. Thing, you know, buying your own car tag, paying taxes, doing things like that. I just never really could see myself doing it and being okay with it. For me, it's just uh, being happy all by myself without anything outside of myself. And being able to reach deep down inside and know that I don't need, I don't need to, I don't need anything outside. And the beautiful part about that is I help people do the same thing. And I mentioned earlier about making an impact, and that's my impact, is I, I get to help people do that every day. For me, it's being dependable. You know, I was very, very unreliable, and you couldn't trust anything that I said to, to actually be followed up on. And people rely on me and trust me to drive company vehicles and help people with their medications and help people with treatment plans and you know I have sponsees that I'm able to work with and you know being able to be trusted is something that I never experienced before like I always said not even before when I, when I was in active addiction um, so it's really a proud part of my life that I can um, really look back on and be prideful in. 